Welcome back second grade to writing. Happy Tuesday. And we're going to go ahead and get started in looking at our writing today. We are on writing day number five. So on day number five, we're on the think it through. So Herschel here has taken us through. We are on past in the middle of step three, kind of the end of step three, thinking it through, building off of what we've read to build into our assignment that we have been assigned for lesson six. So please make sure you have your I ready writing book and a pencil. Your I ready writing book and a pencil. If you need to pause the video, you may to get those things. Well, we're gonna go ahead and our objectives today are I can cite evidence from text and I can use details to provide reasons that support and opinion. So our goal is to be able to cite our evidence and give reasons for our opinion. And it's okay to have different opinions because our opinions are our own thoughts. There's no right or wrong opinion. So as long as you can give me evidence and proof. So today in your iReady writing book, please open to page 174. Page 174. In your iReady writing book, you are going to need to go ahead with me today. And we're gonna use details from the source text to complete this activity. The text told us two similar stories about boys who tried to fool people. So the first thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna think about how are the stories like? What do the boys do and what do they learn? So they had a very similar plot line. It was just in different settings and different things that they were seeing. So I want us to think about that and get your pencil ready so we can brainstorm this together. So one of the first things I obviously know is that both of them, the characters were both little boys. So both, sorry, the story, one of my, I'm sorry, Ms. Schneider's forgetting what she's typing. It should be both main characters are boys. Okay, so both main characters are boys. What else do we know? I remember reading in the beginning, the first, second boy about the aliens, oh, I'm bored. And in the beginning of the other story, the boy who cried wolf, he was bored of just watching the sheep all day. So both, like the, the boys were bored. I got a period up here too. Let's make sure we're putting periods after our statement. All right. Hmm. Well, obviously both of them, the boys also were telling lies. So both boys told lies and thought it was funny. So both boys were telling lies and thought it was funny. What else? Hmm, they both lied twice, twice. And at the very end, both of them were telling the truth, but no one believed them. So the boys tell the truth and no one believes them. So those are the things that both of our stories had in common. If you thought of anything different or anything more, you can add that. If you need to pop us here <clears throat> to make sure that you have all of them written, you may. All right. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the other stories and how they're different. All right. So remember, you can go and pause and record all the information, but we're going to move on. So if you're not ready to move on, go ahead and pause. The boy who cried wolf. I want to think about as a writer, how is it written? It was written in paragraphs. What else do we know about this? We know that it took the setting was a farm. We know he tricked the village people, the boy tricked village people. 
what else do we know? I'm writing way out of my lines because I don't have enough space. So make sure you're writing in your space that you have. All right, and then both of them in this one, his lie was about a wolf. So he lied about a wolf. All right, so those are our, those are a few things about the boy who cried wolf. Let's go ahead and look at the boy who cried alien now. The boy who cried alien, I really enjoyed. The story was told in pictures. Okay, so we know the story was told a little bit differently versus the paragraphs from the boy who cried wolf. And then the story takes place in an apartment in the city. The setting is an apartment. City in a city. All right. What else do we know? We know the boy was tricking his parents this time. So the boy tricked his parents. And then the other boy lied about a wolf. And this boy, he lied about an alien. All right. So we've talked about how they're the same. We've talked about how they're different and how they're written differently and what they lied about and which people they were talking to. So please take some time to make sure that you have all of this stuff written down so we have a good idea of how they're similar and different. It's very important for us to be able to compare and contrast the story as a good reader and a good writer. So if you need more time, pause it because I'm going to clear it out to continue on. All right. So our next page is page 175, 175. So on page 175, I want you to think, the first question is gonna ask us about our opinions now. So now you are gonna decide which story you think is the librarian should share with the students. And remember that this is your opinion. Not everyone will make the same choice. So whatever your opinion is, is fine. If you don't have the same opinion as me, it's totally fine. You just need to make sure that you are supporting your answers with text evidence and real good reasons, okay? So which story do you think second graders would enjoy reading more? Circle your answer. So which story do you like better? Do you think other kids would like it too? Well, personally myself, I really like The Boy Who Cried Alien. So I'm gonna go ahead and look. My opinion is the boy who cried alien. Oops, let me try that again. The boy who cried alien would be my vote or my opinion on what the librarian should read. Because I'm going to go ahead and explain more about it down here. Why would second graders enjoy that story? You need to write two reasons why. So if you are picking the boy who cried wolf, go ahead and pause, and brainstorm. I'm going to brainstorm my ideas. And you can write similar ones as me. You can write way different ones as me because it's your opinion. So I don't want you to feel like you have to have the same opinion as me because we can absolutely be different. So, and there's no right or wrong answer. Why do I think that second graders would like this story? I think that the pictures make the story exciting. I really enjoy seeing it and getting to be in an in it more almost and really feel like I understand the character's feelings and actions. So the second thing I think is this is something that could really happen in real life today. The other story, The Boy Who Cried Wolf, couldn't happen in real life unless you have a farm or live in a village, but I don't think many of us do. So I think it's really cool that the story could happen to a kid today, all right? So it's really important that we're thinking about what we like and our reasons. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be thinking about, you wanna read stories in second grade that you can understand and that you can relate to and feel like it could happen to you. That's how I feel. I like to read books that I feel like I could relate to or it could actually happen to me and I could put myself as one of the characters. So. Make sure you've completed page 175. I'm going to clear it out. If you need to more time to write, you can pause. All right. I'm going to go ahead and transition back to the PowerPoint because you have a quick write. So please make sure you have some paper to do some quick write on. 
I want you to write most second graders like stories that blank. What kind of sec what kind of stories do you think second graders would like? It doesn't have to be like a topic. It could just be like, why do you like what kind of stories do you like? Why? Why do you read the stories that you read? So I want you to think what kind of stories most second graders like stories that blank. All right. So that is the end of our writing today. So I will see you guys back here tomorrow to continue working and digging a little bit more deeper into our writing assignment. So have a great rest of your Tuesday and I'll see you tomorrow.